tell you, I didn't realize how much money other religions aren't making. I, for the first time ever, a year and a half ago, went to Salt Lake City. And there were signs in the airport, come tour the Mormon temple. I thought, well, I would like to do that. I've seen it on TV. It looks spectacular. So I go over and I said, I would like to buy a ticket to go into that. And she goes, oh, you can't go in. That's only for Mormons, only on special occasions. And I was like, well, that is your first mistake, because the Vatican is charging $64 cash. We don't give a shit who's in line. <laughs> Satan himself could show up, and if he had the cash, <laughs> he'd be like, look, we're not real happy about it, but we're going to let you in. <laughs> a lot of pictures of you on the ceiling, FYI. So then I asked the girl, I go, well, what's the tour? I saw a sign. She goes, oh, we'll take you on a tour of the smaller temples. Just wait right over there. The girl, I go, well, what's the tour? I saw a sign. She goes, oh, we'll take you on a tour of the smaller temples. Just wait right over there. And then I realized, oh, my God, I'm the only person on this tour. This isn't fun. Then now I can't leave early. There's no eye rolling. I have to pay attention. <laughs> but thank God, at the last minute, I'm not the only person on the tour. I am joined by Bob, a 62-year-old teamster from Chicago who looks and sounds exactly like all of my uncles. And I thought, oh, this is going to be great, because I can tell by looking at Bob all the inappropriate things that are going to run through my head. <laughs> Bob is going to say out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Bob has no filter, I can tell. So they give us our tour guide. She's like this 21-year-old girl, very sweet. And she's like, welcome to the tour, both of you. Welcome to the tour, both of you. What I'm holding here is the Book of Mormon, another testament of Jesus Christ. We believe that after Jesus Christ died and was resurrected, he visited North America, specifically upstate New York, where he left magical tablets in a hillside. Our leader, Joseph Smith, was visited by an angel who told him where to find the tablets and gave him a magical hat and peeping stone to translate them into this, the Book of Mormon. Are there any questions? <laughs> Uh, I'm good. How about you, Bob? What do you got? <laughs> Bob couldn't believe it. Bob was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're going to have to back up, sweetheart. You're gonna have to back up. Hold on. So you're trying to tell me with a straight face that you think Jesus Christ was in New York at the same time as Geronimo. So you're trying to tell me with a straight face that you think Jesus Christ was in New York at the same time as Geronimo. <laughs> oh my God, Bob, that made less sense than what she just said. And I didn't think that was humanly possible in a five minute exchange. And the poor girl, she's like, I don't know anything about Indians. We should move to the next temple. And she basically just ran away from us, right? Bob turns around, he goes, do you believe this shit? I said, well, no, but I'm not a Mormon, Bob. What are you? I said, I'm Catholic. Me too, and I know we believe in a lot of crazy shit, okay? But we made our shit up way before television. <laughs> Yes, we did, Bob, and you should tell her that at the next stop and see if her eyes cross any more than they did on the Geronimo. The tour got way too long, and then we were in the, you end up in the trick you end up being a Mormon room, and they're all real nice. They've got pencils and index cards. Can we have your email? <laughs> I'm like, yes, you can. My sister's email. <laughs> and then I wait for that phone call. Were you in Utah? Seriously, Kathleen, is this funny? How old are you? Do you... <laughs> is this what you think is funny? Yes. 